You might have already used our calculations feature to provide personalized offers to your Flow visitors. But did you know that you can also assign lead scores with it? In this video, we'll show you how to set up your Flow to capture lead scores and qualify your visitors. Let's get started. First, you will need to set system labels and variables for all questions that are relevant for your lead score. Simply select the relevant input block and scroll down to the Labels and Variables section. Assign a system label and variable to the question. This will be used for the calculation. Then, you can provide a descriptive label for each answer and put your score right behind it. In this example, we are rather looking for applicants that have already completed their apprenticeship, so we will assign a higher score to this answer. Make sure that your system label doesn't include any numbers that aren't part of the score. So if we ask potential applicants for the desired start date, make sure to write out any numbers that shouldn't be included in the score. Once you've set the labels and variables for all relevant blocks, it's time to add the calculation. The calculation should come after all relevant questions have been asked, but before the flow is submitted. In this case, we will go with the last screen of the flow. Add a headline or text block to the end of the screen and then type add to reveal the assigned variables. Our lead score will be a simple addition of these individual scores, but you can also add multipliers if certain questions have more weight than others. Next, just highlight the text and a toolbar will open. Here you need to click on Formula. Now click on your text again and assign a system label for the calculation. In this example, we will go with Lead Score. As you probably don't want to reveal the lead score to your Flow visitors, you can hide the text block in the Appearance section. Don't worry though, the calculation will still happen in the background. Now you can publish your flow and do a test run. After we have clicked through this flow, we can return to the Responses tab and see that the lead score has been added. Of course, you can also send this information to Google Sheets, your CRM, your applicant tracking system, or any other tool you have connected via Zapier. Congratulations! Now you know how to capture lead scores in Hayflow and qualify your leads based on your desired attributes. Visit our YouTube channel or the Help Center to learn more about Hayflow. Happy building and have a great day!